while since I've done a video. Um, yeah, not been very well. Uh, had a week off work, got some terrible cold. <laughs> Can't seem to shake at the moment. Um, today's the first day I felt anywhere near normal, to be honest. So um, I've spent a week playing uh, Red Dead Redemption, which I've enjoyed immensely. It's been fantastic, and just started playing it online with my mate, to be honest, and um, getting involved in that world as well. Uh, very, very impressive. Um, very impressive game. Very, very impressive online as well. But um, that's what, yeah, that's what I've been up to this week. Um, new game kind of came yesterday, which I will uh, tell you about in a, in a video that's coming up. Um, but yeah, we've, I've got a cons new console and a new computer to show you. Um, I'll show you the computer first. Computer I've been after for for years and years and years. Um, always quite envious of my friends growing up who who had one and I didn't have one because it was just that bit too expensive for me. I had uh, an Amstrad CPC at the same time when a couple of my friends had this uh, computer. Um, and I've picked this one up off a, up off a mate because he was uh, selling some uh, items from his collection. And it's there we go, an Amiga A500. <laughs> now I've wanted one of these for years and years and years, and I've been slowly picking up Amiga games. Um, so I'm really really pleased to have this into my collection. Um, I've already cranked it up and I had a had a few games on the some of the games that I've already picked up. But I mean I've got such fond memories of this uh, of this system and I'm looking forward to picking up some of those uh, those games from my youth to be honest. Um, you know, stuff like Shadow of the Beast, Blood Money, stuff like that. Um, but I finally I have finally got one after all these years of waiting. Uh, where's a bloody ton as well, just thinking about it with something new. Um but yeah, I mean, a huge, huge part of my childhood and my, uh, yeah, my, <laughs> my, um, yeah, my, my early gaming days, to be honest. Um, picked a few games for, for the system as well. Um, I've also picked up um, an RBG lead for the back of this as well. So it stops around messing around with this dodgy modulator that's on the, that you get with it and just you know just uh, directly plug it into TV and plug it into uh, my DVD recorder to do some gameplay of it. Okay, when I uh, bought the game off my friend, um, all told it's going to probably cost about 25 quid, came with about a million um, copied games which <laughs> kept the Amiga scene going for years and years and years. Um, but uh, it also came with a couple of original games. There we go. Uh, game number one is uh, Premier Manager. Um, it w this was the management game on the Amiga. Um, you know, it's, it's it's a great game. It's it's a great it's a great management game. I, I do like my football manage manager games. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played one seriously. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting that cranked up and the uh, seeing seeing all the old names. Um, okay, and then the next game I'm going to show you is an absolute classic. Um, <coughs> it's very apt. This is this is on on, on this video actually, to be honest, because the the lead two in this franchise, um, Syndicate, absolute classic. This version is part of the um, what is it uh, Amiga Chaos Pack, so I'm assuming that's part of uh, one of the. With the uh, the packings that came with the system at one point, but um, I'm looking forward to getting back to Syndicate. It's been a oh, bloody hell. It's probably been over 15, 16 years since I played that game, and um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to cranking that up. And uh, you know, an all-time Amiga classic. Right, these two games I actually picked up. Both of them were less than than a tenner from eBay. Um, a slightly bad copy of. New Zealand Story. Another one that I've got, another game that I've got really, really fond memories of on the Amiga. I used to play a lot with my mate. Um, I, I love the New Zealand, Zealand Story anyway, but the Amiga version is very, very nice conversion. Um, crank this up, and it, it plays, it plays great. The case is battered, but I mean, it, it cost, it, it didn't cost me very much at all. Um, of course, the uh, the old floppy disk there. 
and there's um, yeah the, in the instruction booklet there's uh, <laughs> some advertisements there for a uh, red heat based on the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Um, a game called Cabal as well. That's an arcade game. I, I remember playing that in the arcade and uh, run the gauntlet as well. Uh, but yeah, you know it's quite nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that's in the collection anyway. Right, another game that I picked up, which is a uh, new old stock, is a copy of, a, of another shooter. I know this from the Amstrad, um, to be honest, and it's uh, Zynaps. Uh, it's another shooter for the uh, for the Amiga. Uh, big box version, uh, about a fiver, cost me that. Um, got really, really nice cover artwork, which I'll show you. But the game itself, I, I really like. It's it, it's it's quite tough. Um, and one thing to note is the fact that they've, you know, it must be a standard box that they've got um, when they actually did these games. They've stuck an Amiga log, uh, sticker on the front there, and then they've got a case where you can put cassettes in there or the floppy disk. So uh, you know, done. It's done on the cheap actually, to be honest. It's a, it's a good idea uh, for multi-format games, but um, you know, absolutely. Obviously, it's new. It's a new game. Completely only mint. So uh, I'll, I'll put some gameplay on at some point of that. Um, really, really tough. It's not going to kind of reinvent the sh shooting up genre. Or, you know, it, it's an early game, but um, you know, it's, it's it's a fun shooter. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll keep this vid re relatively short. Um, I've got another console to show you. A uh, few games as well. A few other projects on the go this month. Hopefully I'm going to uh, be getting stuff out, you know, quite quick. Um, I'm going to reply to everyone that's replied. I'm sorry for not for not replying. I've just not been, <laughs> not been on this earth almost to be honest. Just been, just been buggered. But um, yeah, um, as I say, a really welcome addition to the collection is the the Amiga. Uh, probably the last computer that I'm really interested in getting. Um, never a big kind of ST fan to be honest. Uh, no, you know, no, through no kind of fault of its own. Just uh, yeah, definitely in the uh, in the Amiga camp. Um, and yeah, this is I think I suspect the games that I actually want on Amiga. This is going to be um, an expensive journey. Um, I mean, um, I'm, I keep look, keep looking at um, Ash eighty one B four U's videos and. Um, the, the Amiga shooting ups he's picked up are absolutely amazing. I mean, you should check his channel out. Um, he's picked up some great, great games for the uh, for the system. And um, I thought if I can get her, uh, you know, collection half as good as his, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think. The Moochie Moochie Park Stroke Pink Sweets is out this month as well. Looking forward to that. Um, just because I want to play Pink Sweets, I think Pink Sweets looks looks fantastic. Um, having finally played Ibarra, um I think the sequel is going to be really really cool, and um, it's got to be the best value kind of compilation for the uh, shoot 'em up compilation out there, to be honest. Um, and I've actually got a limited edition ordered, so uh, that'll probably arrive the first week in March. So uh, as soon as that comes, I'll get some. I'll get a video up, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at that one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you all later. Thank you very much. Goodbye.